Okay, so my boyfriend takes me to the Supreme Court for sightseeing. Yeah, a real romantic weekend. I'll take it. We stopped at a rest stop and I saw all of these girls in their bathing suits underneath their beach cover-ups and I was like, some guys take their girls to the beach, others take them to Capitol Hill. Anyways, it took us a really long fucking time to get here. Can I say, can I curse? You can curse. Okay, okay. Um, so we're walking to the Supreme Court now. Also, I had no idea the brownstones here, they rival New York City's. Low key might even be nicer because there's not like garbage everywhere. These brownstones are really expensive. This is like defense contractor money you need. So what do you think? we can't live here? To afford these, I think I gotta work for like what, Raytheon? Mm -hmm. uh, which, which weapons manufacturer? The SCOTUS. And he's taking me to protest for our date. I love it. I actually love it. Really? Yes. It's not boring? Well, Does it look boring? Okay. I don't think this should be a boring thing. Hey, hey! Do you, do you, do you, are, you, are you happy about the Supreme Court's decision? I am happy. All lives matter. Every life matters. Every life matters. Every life matters. Personally, I think that the states have the right to choose what to do. So what you believe in states' rights? I believe in small government. How do you feel about the Supreme Court's ruling? I like it. You were happy with the court's ruling yesterday. If the court's ruling is biblical, then I'm with it. If it's not biblical, then I'm against it. So that's my answer. Yeah, I've had process for years. Never got my girlfriend breakfast. She wasn't for birth control. I didn't care too much about it either, but then again, I was a Satanist at that point, so I didn't have any real thought towards this sort of issue. No, I like the one day. Hey. Um, straight white men are being oppressed right now, and they need police uh, escorts. Someone get the police over here. We have a straight white man who's being oppressed. I need the tear gas, the riot gear. Where are the rubber bullets? Where are the rubber bullets? If you see a straight white man, do they give them a hug? Just give them a, they're going through a lot. This has been a, it's been a rough week. There's a straight white man trying to explain cryptocurrency here. We need the cops. Guys, okay, let's get him some protection. Thank God you've got him out of this safe. This is the straight white male safe space right here. This is our only safe space in America surrounded by uh, a dozen police officers at once. What is our country coming to if a straight white man cannot explain abortion to a group of women and NFTs? What are we doing? What does our country come to? Oh, thank you. As if you know he doesn't want people's hands on him shit. Oh my God, can you imagine? If he fuddles me, why he would come here? He came here to show how oppressed he is. So we have a lot of like tensions. So I won't use I won't use sound enhancement. I'm just uh, doing. I'm just reporting. I'm not going to use the sound enhancement over here. Okay. First, thank you. Appreciate yeah. That. Um, but really, what it comes down to is like we just tensions get high. You know, so if we can just try and maybe have you you know take a few more steps back. If you want to go back in your crowd, you know, trying to de-escalate. Oh, you know, I'm just trying about. to get footage. I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna escalate anyone to come over here. I appreciate. That. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. He's a 10, but he likes cryptocurrency and he doesn't support a woman's right to choose. Zero. Negative five. He's a 10, but he doesn't understand why you can't just go to another state to get an abortion. Negative infinity. He's a 9, but he's a forced birther. No. <laughs> Zero. Zero. Yeah, that's not a 9. He's a 9, but he says, this isn't the way to do it. You should just vote. <laughs> negative, 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 negative 10. I'm gonna bomb it. So would any of you guys date someone that's pro-life? Hell fucking no. I'm also a lesbian and we don't really have that problem. We're pretty much all uh, very pro-choice. I agree and absolutely fucking not. <laughs> he's a five, but he's an abortion clinic escort. Eleven. 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 He's a five, but he's an abortion clinic escort. A 10. He's a 10. He's ten. an 11. A perfect, he's an 11. Perfect. He's a 4, but he says, hey, don't take the pill. I'll get a vasectomy. He's a 12. 
Okay. <laughs> he's a four, but he ships Plan B across state lines. Ten. He's a four, but he brings Plan B across state lines. Oh my god. A hundred. A hundred. A hundred. It's really frustrating coming out here and only seeing information with like coat hangers and like Handmaid's Tale and people talking about how people are going to die. Um, and we know how to have a safe self-managed abortion and do it within the first trimester. And so we're just trying to share this information because it's just really important because we're not living in the same time that we were before Roe. It's different now. And we can share this information and take care of our community because our politicians are not going to do anything to change this. And we're going to have to be the ones that take care of our communities and share this information and make sure people have access to health care. Thank you so much.
tremendous problem with the Columbus statue in my area. And for an entire week, it was listed as a public bathroom. When you searched for it, it was just terrible. I would hate for that to happen again. It also happened with Vince McConnell's uh, office. So yeah, just it was terrible. Just So don't everyone do it at once. So that was a great idea you had to make the Supreme Court into a public bathroom on Google and everything else. I like that. I also like that because I've been seeing this trend on TikTok where it says like hot girl shit too. So yes, we shit and I shit at the Supreme Court.